Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today we've got a big story from the music business world that's turning heads. Hip hop mogul Dame Dash just revealed that Drake, yes, Drake, slid into his DMs and made an offer to buy his one third ownership of Rockefeller Records. You heard that right. Dame claims the sixth god wants a piece of the legendary label, but there's a lot more to the story than what meets the eye. Let's break it down. So according to Dame Dash, Drake reached out to him via Instagram DMs with an offer to buy his shares of Rockefeller. Dame didn't say how much Drake put on the table, but he seemed interested in the deal, hinting that Drake could take the label's legacy to new heights. Dame even suggested Drake could make a statement by showing up to next year's Super Bowl wearing an original Rockefeller chain, outshining Kendrick Lamar's halftime show, organized by Jay-Z. Dame, what you think about the Super Bowl decision? The Kendrick Lamar thing? Yeah. Well, you know, I see what people are saying, but if I step in that conversation, then, you know, I'm hating on homeboy and I'm always talking about homeboy. But what I do know is this. Um, as for battle rap, shit, there's never been a, a, a battle rap where you know, the record becomes a hit, puts another artist in a very uncomfortable position, pause, and then they get to perform it at the Super Bowl. That's it. And, you know, I'm thinking, like, what would I do if I was Drake? And I'd be like, well, a big W would be to come to the Super Bowl with one of these Rockefeller chains. And, you know, Drake hollered at me through DM and made an offer and uh, I'm not quite sure what happened, but um, I thought that he had got with Jay or something, but I don't know. But it would be a good time to close. But if you got it, you know, I wouldn't do it if you don't got it. But, uh, you know, if you want to own Reasonable Doubt, if you want to own a third of it, have a, a say at the board meeting for at least the next seven years and make money off of it, um, I would get these chains. A oh, one, you get one. And I'm gonna make it even better. I, I spoke to Alligator Jesus and I was like, yo, if somebody does buy it for this price, um, now I gotta give some Rockefeller grills. So I'll, I guess I'll put up some Rockefeller grills as well if he put up the bread. Get Alligator Jesus uh, to make him, he may be. Here's where it gets complicated. Dame might want to sell, but legally, he doesn't have the power to do so. After losing a copyright infringement lawsuit to director Josh Weber, Dame's shares were assigned to the U.S. Marshal for public auction. The sale was meant to cover Dame's $1 million debt to Weber, but it turns out he owes even more, like $197,000 in unpaid child support and a whopping $8.7 million in back taxes to New York State. The public auction for his shares, originally scheduled for earlier this year, has been pushed to September 21st to deal with the sheer size of Dame's debts and how many people are laying claim to the money from the sale. And here's another twist. The minimum bid for Dame's Rockefeller shares has been raised from $1.2 million to a staggering $3 million. This hike is likely in response to the number of people who want their cut of the sale. At this point, it's not just about Drake wanting to buy in. It's about covering all of Dame's financial obligations. So even if Drake is serious about this, the situation is out of Dame's hands. So while Drake might want a piece of Rockefeller, and Dame Dash seems open to the idea, the reality is the sale is tied up in legal battles and massive debts. If Drake's serious, he'll have to deal with the U.S. Marshal and anyone else claiming a slice of Dame's assets. This story's definitely not over yet, and we'll be keeping an eye on that September 21st auction. What do you guys think? Could Drake end up owning a part of Rockefeller? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update on this wild situation. And see you next time on the Red Carpet Reup.